Don't forget to check us out on Patreon where you'll receive exclusive content to videos that are not available on YouTube. And for those of you that like the one video instead of the two video format, you get that as well. Bam! For a dollar. Bam! It's a dollar a month. Yep. I think we're cooling in a bag of Cheetos. You can't even get that for a dollar. Hey, that's true. <laughs> not hot Cheetos, though. <laughs> Only like regular, yeah, regular Cheetos. So check us out on Patreon, guys. We hope to see you there. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George, yeah, as always. Man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the free thinkers. Yeah, man. Hopefully so we, you guys are doing fine today. We, we back. <laughs> And we're back with a band, Mickey Ficky Halen, though. Because why I not? do know that. Because why not? Because I just love Because we just want to fucking do Van Halen. That's why. <laughs> and every time, you know what I'm saying? We love, love, uh, Ain't Talk About Love. Check oh. that video out if you haven't checked that out. Ain't yeah, Talk About Love uh, from Van Halen, man. Love that song. That's still on the playlist. And um, we just thought it was time to get back to him. Man. Mm -hmm. And we did uh, Hot for Teacher as well. Yeah, <laughs> not, not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> we did Unchained as well. And that was that was okay. I think Unchained got blocked, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. So check out, but check out Ain't Talk About Love. <laughs> the ones that didn't get blocked. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, get, we, we average about a block a day. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So Running with the Devil. That's the song we're doing today. Um, and we read something on the Running weekend. Running with the Devil. You think that's how it's going to sound? No, I don't know about that. that, that just... dun, 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 dun. With the devil. That could be it. <laughs> Apparently, we were looking on the wiki uh -huh. um, on Van Halen and looking up this song specifically. And um, it said that they were inspired by the Ohio players running from the devil. Right? And this is on some metal rock shit. Running yeah. with the devil. Yeah. I, I don't know. We haven't looked at the lyrics yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Embracing. Embracing the chaos. Yeah. Embracing the she-devil. Yeah, sure. some shit like that. Um, so I thought that was interesting, man, because uh, George and I talk about this a lot off camera about how um, different genres get inspired by different music, and especially when it comes from um, a specific artist that you may not associate with that particular genre and how they, they influence each other, like rock and metal. And Ohio Players, that's an R&B group, mm -hmm. dude. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's beautiful, man, and I don't know if that's done enough now, now you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Music. That, that's just gone. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's just doing their own thing, isolated. Okay, cool. But I did, like Ryan said, yeah, I've, I've always appreciated that about just old school music in general. You can hear yeah, the man. influence, and everyone still was being creative and doing their own things, but you can hear the influence with blues and then R&B to rock yep. to jazz to everything was incorporated. And um, I, I love that about old school music. So I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, so. man. All right, let's get into it, man. Van Halen, Running With The Devil. They're the same feel um, that I had in t I ain't talking about love. It's yeah. not like complex. It's just something. It's just about musical. Those fucking riffs, it's man. Put Van Halen. together in a groovy type. <laughs> you know, it's. <laughs> It's just, it's simple, but that shit it's just, sounds so good to me. You know what's so funny, man? Because I know um, the, the, I always go back to saying, oh, it, it just has to have a nice groove. And I know that's kind of taking on a life of its own on the channel. <laughs> um, but guys, I mean, I, I always, uh, when I'm listening to a song, regardless of the genre, I... I would like to dance to it, or I would like to like kind of bob my head to it. I'd like to get in some kind of groove, no pun intended. So I, I feel like if you're going to listen to music for an enjoyment purpose, it's not necessarily like a, um, you know, a homework project. No disrespect to any other uh, genre, or if you like classical, or if you like things that you can't necessarily catch a groove to, that... You know, that, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure that there's classical music or um, other music out there that's not necessarily groovy that I would appreciate. But I feel like for me personally, man, I always kind of 
um, latch on and really resonate with um, songs that have like a, a groove that I can kind of at least bob my head to. And I feel like um, Van Halen, the group, really kind of understands that. So when we looked at um, Ohio players, they were inspired by that song Running From The Devil. It doesn't shock me because I can hear the, uh, the groove influence that R&B has in this music. I can okay. hear how they're yep. taking that and just rocking it out mm -hmm. in the guitar. I can I, hear that. I can hear bang, 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 bang. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It gives you like a, though. yeah, it's just nasty. So I just really like that. When you said that, uh, what is it about those grooves? That's what it seems like to me. Yeah, man. It seems like it's just so groovy and it's just, man, the, the riffs just really put you in a place where you can really just vibe out to it. Like that shit is just fly. Van you know? Halen has his own, from what we've learned, man, his own sound and the way he's, he's tuned his guitar that kind of changed the way that people play, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the guitar, man. And you could just hear it like, man, it just grabs you every single time. So we're going to keep going, but I really like what you said. Yeah, dude. man. But let's start it back up though. Let's start that back up. Cause I know that, <laughs> they mad as hell right now. That we the yeah. Cause they're like running with the devil. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, but yeah, man, good, good, uh, well said, right? Yeah, and I'm really enjoying these riffs here. Oh, yes, he's restarting it. Yes, Let's jam out. But everything that they just even had us started. Even a cat. <laughs> nah, it's but, funny uh, that we heard that at the same time. <laughs> yeah. these guys are, even the, 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 the <laughs> yeah, These riffs alone, right, right here in the chorus, when it transitions into the chorus, da -ba -da -da -da, yeah. is that makes the song playlist by yeah. itself. And it's I, just, I really like the chorus as well. But just those riffs right there, yeah, this, they just do it for me, man. But it's just fly. It's it just, is, man. It is. I'm going back to old faithful. It's fly, dude. This is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is fly. Oh, faithful. Yeah. <laughs> this is fly, dude. I don't know what else to say. What do they do in songs sometimes where they're like, uh, you know what would have been amazing to add into this song when they when they add the uh, the eagle or the hawk sound? <laughs> the ear! Yeah. And then the side of the hawk. That's what it sounds like. An eagle's just almost like following an eagle through, you know, you know, through its, through its fucking <laughs> migration or whatever the case may be. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, guys. Uh... You know, we do hip hop and metal on this channel. It, when, I, when I said that ego thing, and it made me think of this song by Lupe Fiasco. Metalhead, you might be able to appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I think they may like Lupe. this. Lupe Fiasco is incredible. Incredible as, a, as just a poet. He's an mm -hmm. amazing, amazing lyricist. But in the beginning of this song called Pressure, featuring Jay-Z, the man, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a, a sound of sort of a hawk or an eagle, or whatever the case right. may be. And okay. I just think that specific sound that they added would have been yeah. dope. I, I think of this, though. I think of a, an eagle flying when this, um, this is played just outdoors, American, <laughs> a good old American rock type shit. <laughs> Rock 
fella. First step. That eagle at the beginning of the song, for whatever reason, just it just sticks out as, yeah. a, as a good element that would have been really cool to add into uh, to the Van Halen. It just makes me think of just being outdoors. Yeah, I got you. Just the American sort of fly eagle fly pride is what this <laughs> gives me bad. But yeah, man. Loving right. the song, man. We're going to get back to it, though, guys. Let's keep it <laughs> Let's rocking. Keep it I found the simple life. at the end too you know he got a little loose there you know yeah i like that yeah boy. dude I those like that. riffs of da, 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 that is just i don't know what it is it yeah. sticks with me the way that sounds is just great man you know Beautiful. what i mean Beautiful. it just it just feels like like an anthem but like not a cheesy anthem though you know mm -hmm. what i mean it, just, it has a timeless quality to it with how um yeah. those riffs sound man and you guys said that van halen it, yeah. still to this day people haven't been able to sort of replicate what he was able to do with the guitar, just the sound of it and everything as well. And you just hear it, man. You know, George, man, um, obviously I like the song, guys. Playlist, but, by the way. Yeah. But I just feel like there's songs in your life, man, that you hear um, that just identify with just having a good ass time. Like yeah. when you, that you could just have fun and just jam out to to the 10th power. I, I feel like Ain't Talking About Love follows that same yep. suit. This song follows that same suit. Um, even that uh, ACDC song that we did, uh, Thunderstruck. Oh uh, yeah, I think we did like a snippet of that on right. Our well, yeah. well, yeah. When we when we heard that, we was like, yeah, this just sounds like a party. Yeah. And I feel like when we um, when you hear songs like that, man, it just you, you just you have to jam out to it. So I feel our older subscribers that um, were like in their teens when this came out and they say that this is like the best music ever. I, I hear it because it sounds like a good time. It sounds yeah. like you're like, yeah, dude, they were jamming. But not asshole. corny, though. Right, right, right. Because there's, there's some songs that sound like a good time, but you're like, okay, this is a little cheesy or corny. Yeah, and like, it doesn't age well. And yeah, all that. But, yeah. dude, I could bump this right now. Yeah, nah, this is hot. Right now. Seriously. We're not this just saying that because it's Van Halen, guys. We didn't really like Teacher Teacher, just to remind you. Yeah. I, I, actually, I probably should hot remind you. Hot for Teacher, yeah, hot, yeah. Excuse me, Hot for Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a ginger song that people keep requesting that teacher. But a Hot for Teacher, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't really like that one too much, man, to keep it real with yep. you. So it's not just because it's Van Halen, guys. Yep. But I wanted to touch on something that you had mentioned earlier, Ryan. I don't think it was a good point about just you listen to music and, and what grabs you personally is just the groove yeah. getting into a groove that's kind of your your preference right. not saying that that's the only thing that right, 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 clearly right. we've displayed on this channel that's not the only thing right right but for the most part you'd like to be able to get into a groove 
And I think that people who can get into a groove, just from my knowledge or just from my experience in life, mm -hmm. respect. They've shown a lot of respect for music that requires um, a bit more of your attention to understand the complexities of, of what's going on. Right, right. It's been respect from the groover standpoint, even if, <laughs> even if it's yeah. not their thing. But what I've seen, and this is just from having a YouTube channel for is like three years now, it doesn't seem to be reciprocated. reciprocated. <laughs> it seems to be sort of this condescending feeling. People who listen to classical or just really complex jazz or, you know, Prague or whatever the case may be, they're like, they look down on people who like to get into a groove and dance and have a good time to music. And that's what I don't like. Yeah. Because that's a good point, the man. bottom line is, man, some of those smartest people I've, I've ever met don't look to music for for that. You know what I mean? Right. If you do, that's great. There's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, some people look to dense literature to satisfy that analytical yeah. side of their brain. That's true. But when they listen to music, they want to have a good time and let loose. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I, I don't think people should uh, be, be condescending towards yeah. that, that method of enjoying or taking in music. Maybe maybe I'm into independent film. Maybe I just enjoy math and, and, yep. and, and solving true. equations and that satisfies the, the analytical side of my brain. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Who knows? Yeah. And then when I listen to music, I don't want that in music. So I just want to point that out because I see that sometimes in the point. comment section. Like, dude, there's nothing wrong with just liking music and taking, uh, mm -hmm. uh, getting into a groove and appreciating music for that and that being your preference. So I like all of it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Me Appreciate too. getting into Me a too. groove. Appreciate, you know, the classical pieces, things that make you think a little bit and you have to sit back and really break down. We, you've seen it. You, yep. know, you see what we like. We, we've liked the gamut. So, yeah, man. Salute to Van Halen, man. That's stay list, though, man. Yeah, that's, that is that's stay hot. list. That's hot, without a doubt. So, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, we have a Patreon channel. If you're interested, it will allow you to get exclusive access to our content. The link for that will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out. We out.